In JavaScript, the HTML DOM, Document Object Model, represents the structure and content of an HTML document as a tree-like structure, where each element, attribute, and text node in the HTML document is represented as a node in the DOM tree. The HTML DOM provides a way to interact with and manipulate the elements of an HTML document using JavaScript. It allows you to access, modify, and add elements dynamically, change styles and classes, handle events, and perform other operations on a document. Document is the top-level object representing the HTML document. It serves as the entry point for accessing the DOM tree, and provides methods for navigating and manipulating the document. Element represents an HTML element in the DOM tree. Elements have properties that allow you to access and modify attributes, styles, and content. You can select elements using various methods like get element by ID, get elements by tag name, get elements by class name, or modern methods like query selector and query selector all. Node is the base class for all types of nodes in the DOM tree. Nodes can be elements, text nodes, comment nodes, and so on. They have properties and methods for common operations, such as accessing parent and child nodes, manipulating node content, and more. The DOM provides an event system to handle user interactions and other events. You can attach event listeners to elements to respond to events like clicks, key presses, mouse movements, and so on. Using JavaScript, you can interact with the HTML DOM to dynamically modify the content and behavior of an HTML page. This allows for creating interactive web applications, implementing dynamic user interfaces, and performing various operations of the document based on user actions or logic. Here's a simple example that actually does something surprising. We have an HTML document that contains a heading H1 element with an ID of my heading and a paragraph p element with an ID of my paragraph. The JavaScript code within the script tags manipulates these events through the DOM. The code uses the getElementById method to select elements by their ID attribute. It then modifies the element's contents and properties using the following DOM manipulation techniques. InnerHTML sets the HTML content inside the selected element. In this case, we change the heading's text to New Heading. Style accesses the CSS styles of the selected element. We set the paragraph's text color to red. Text Content sets the text content of the selected element. We update the paragraph's text to This is an updated paragraph. We then load the HTML document in a web browser. The JavaScript code executes and you'll see changes reflected in the rendered page. The heading text will change, the paragraph text color will turn red, and the paragraph content will be updated. This demonstrates how JavaScript can interact with the DOM to dynamically modify the contents and properties of HTML elements based on programmatic logic or user interactions. You can also trigger changes to an HTML page in response to user activities. In this example, we define two JavaScript functions, show message and change color. These functions are triggered from HTML elements using the onClick attribute. The show message function displays an alert box with the message button clicked when the button is clicked. The change color function changes the background color of the div element with the ID of my div to red when the button is clicked. The HTML code includes a button with the onClick attribute set to show message, which triggers the show message function when the button is clicked. Similarly, there's another button with the onClick attribute set to change color, which triggers the change color function when the button is clicked. When you load the HTML document in a web browser, you'll see the heading, two buttons, and a colored div element. Clicking the click me button will trigger the show message function and display an alert. Clicking the Change Color button will trigger the Change Color function and change the background color of the div element to red. As I'm sure you can guess, this barely scratches the surface of what you can do with DOM. Here's a longer list of DOM-friendly elements and methods and HTML attributes that you can also play with. Before heading over to the final section, which will cover Node.js, let's take a quick look back. We saw how you can incorporate JavaScript code into your HTML pages. 
seeing some important examples of syntax and functions. We learned how JavaScript handles variables and constants, how and when it deals with data types and type conversion, some basic control structure loops that like if, else, and while, and we finished up with a quick but intriguing look at the power of DOM, 